Sort of a bit of a strange couple of weeks leading into it um, with the visa, but um, yeah, good to good to get it all across the line and just stoked to be here. It's an amazing ground and great bunch of fellas. It's been a really really positive first impression, so can't wait for the first game on Thursday. How frustrating was it with those visa issues? Because you wanted to be at the start of the season, you were desperate to get involved, weren't you? Yeah, it was. Yeah, a bit of a nightmare, like just, yeah, just constant unknown. So, um, yeah, just being pretty much ready to go at any point and having the suitcase packed and then just, you know, not coming. So, yeah, it was definitely frustrating. I, I really wanted to get over here and, and get cracking as soon as I could and have a good lead up into the games. But, um, yeah, had a good bowl yesterday and, and this morning, so feeling good and can't wait for the game. Is one positive being an Australian that playing in your win in our winter, your summer, that you're mm -hmm. there for coming in with a bit of kind of innings in your belt and a bit more experience? Yeah, I think so. I think I've had about four weeks off now, so that was sort of a, a good break. It was a pretty long season, um, like physically and mentally as well, with, with some COVID bubbles as well. So it was good to, to get back home and, and see the family for a couple of weeks, which was great. And then, yeah, just uh, it's probably a good timing, not too long of a, a layoff, but um, yeah, just a nice little mental refresher and, and ready to go. It was a pretty good year for you last year, wasn't it? Almost a career year. You've kind of burst yourself onto the scene. Yeah, it was. I, I'd sort of probably, you know, found that level in T20 cricket for the Sydney Thunder, but hadn't had the opportunity in, in Red Bull cricket. So, yeah, making the move down to South Australia this season was a big no-brainer for me and just sort of wanted that opportunity to, to play four-day cricket. And, you know, as a team, we didn't have as many results as we would have liked, but I think we played some really good cricket and, and are really building in, in the right direction. And, and personally, just to to get the game time to play every game um, for the Redbacks, uh, Red Bull, White Bull was, was awesome. So that's all I could have asked for. That experience you're going to bring to Edge Baston, what sort of bowler are you and do you think you'll thrive in the English conditions? Well, hopefully. Um, you never know. I think it's it's always a bit of an adjustment coming from Australia to England. It's sort of, you know, there's usually more in it for the bowlers, but looks like the wickets have been pretty flat the last couple of weeks. So, um, yeah, I think obviously I'll have to wait and, and see what kind of wicket we get down at Taunton and, and just try and adjust. But... Yeah, I think I bowled with the Dukes back in second eleven cricket back home a few years ago. I don't think they were the English Duke. I think they were a little different, but you know they swing around a bit more, which is great. And um, I'm probably more of a seam bowler than a swing bowler. But um, yeah, I just had a bowl this morning and got a bit of, of nip on the wickets uh, in the training ground. So yeah, hopefully uh, they do a little bit more than the Aussie wickets. That's for sure. And you have a bit of experience in England as well, don't you? You played a bit of club cricket in Essex. Yeah, I played club cricket back in 2012, so it feels like a lifetime ago now. But um, and I was more of a, probably a batsman back then than a, than a bowler, so it was a bit um, bit different to obviously now and, and playing first class cricket. But um, yeah, amazing experience. So it was 2012 when the Olympics were on, so yeah, sort of short train into into London and the city was was buzzing. So it was a, a great experience, and you know, hopefully I can have a great experience over here as well. With the season underway. We've played two games, a lot of teams have played three. What have you made yep. of the tournament so far? Yeah, I've seen little bits and pieces of it, just trying to follow on with the with the app. I haven't streamed too much of it. Obviously, it's you know on it in the middle of the night back home, so haven't watched too much of it. But yeah, the scores have probably been a little higher than what you normally see following on with the scores over the previous years. But uh, yeah, no, I think obviously, you know, the groups, it's, it's a really settled group. It's an experienced team here at Warwickshire and... You know, they've had a really good win. I was lucky to sort of come in and uh, right at the end of that game and, and meet the boys um, Saturday night and, and come down and watch the boys win on Sunday. So, yeah, that was, you know, it was a great atmosphere in the change room afterwards. It seems like a, a really good team to be a part of and, you know, hopefully I can contribute to a few more wins for the, for the team. Yeah, it's been exciting to join a team on the up. County yeah. champions and they've started the season unbeaten. Mm. That's a great dressing room to enter. Yeah, 100%. Um, I mean, obviously, yeah, team success is, is what we play for and, Obviously, winning the league last year—that's you know—it's it's a very historic club, and you know if I can just come over and play a small part and, and help the team have some success, then that's a bonus.